Child, you better not get to barking. Just be quiet. Don't start no trouble. It is still April, and life has been life, and so you're getting this little content a little late, but y'all get the point. You still gonna get it. Uh-uh, Sophie. Hey, y'all. Hey, it's Erica with a K, and this is TWG Talks, where we talk all things music, community, and culture, and today is no different. Uh, but if this is your first time, welcome. If not, welcome back. We are continuing down this list of the greatest 10 of 100 rock songs of all time. Uh, Sophie Wilder, y'all. Sophie is wilding. Um, but anyway, let's get focused on this, okay? But first, like the good journalist that I am, we are going to always cite our sources. And so if you love this list or if you hate this list, it ain't my list. It came from Digital Dream Door. So take it up with them, all right? This is not sponsored by them. This is not prompted by them. I'm just a good journalist, and I want you to know where I got my information from. Also, house rules. Like, share, comment, and subscribe to the tribe, all right? Let us know that this is the kind of content you're into by being connected with us. But let's get into this list, all right? So a little recap, all right? So the first four songs that we did uh, when we started this off, started off with number 10, Monkey Gone to Heaven by Pixies, then Jeremy by Pearl Jam, then Blister in the Sun by The Violent Films, and then we had Teenage Riot by Sonic Youth. Uh, of those, I really meshed with Jeremy by Pearl Jam and Blister in the Sun by Violent Films. Now we're going on to the two songs that I listened to heavily this week. Uh, one was Once in a Lifetime by Talking Heads. Uh, this was a really cool jam. Um, and when I say jam, like I would be listening to it and then just be looking at my body like, oh, da, 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 da. well, I ain't going to sing it because I don't want you two to flag me. But it's extremely catchy. And um, I really enjoyed it. The singing was good. The band was good. Um, the lyrics was OK. You know, they're not talking about anything hard hitting in there. But, you know, you can you can really mesh with it. And then I also listened to How Soon Is Now by The Smiths. Uh, this was really, uh, I forgot about it as soon as I listened to it. I wasn't really moved by it, which is extremely odd because it's number six on the list. Uh, so it obviously is like the jam as it appears to be in the genre of alternative rock. But for me, the winner this week was Once in a Lifetime by the Talking Heads. It was one of those, I found myself like, oh, I really mesh with this song you know i'm jamming with it it's extremely catchy again the singers are great the band is great um and it's just real it's a fun song and i i really enjoyed it and it really is dispelling the thought of what i thought alternative rock is or could be um and so if that is interesting to you i want you to try it out listen to it and add it to your collection let me know if this is something you're into uh, have you heard of the Talking Heads? Have you heard of Once in a Lifetime? Uh, if you let me know, um, maybe I'm just new to it because a lot of these bands I never heard of a day in my life. So I'm coming on to a lot of new content as well, which is always fun for me. So if this is the kind of thing that you are into, hearing about new music, hearing about new groups hearing about, you know, my thoughts on these songs and these genres, then this is need, this needs to be the place that you are, okay? Um, we uh, drop on Thursdays, you know, if life ain't always lifing. So you might get it before, you might get it after, but you can always find it around the Thursday, all righty? Uh, I'm Erica with a K, and this is TWG Talks. <laughs>